Hello there, it's Mark here from Excel Off The Grid. In this video, we're looking at how we can use partial text strings with the filter function. So rather than matching an entire string, we're looking at how we can match on just a part of it. So if you're ready, let's get started. In our scenario, we have an email, an address, a town, a postcode, a quantity, and an item column. And we want to return the email, quantity, and item based on our search criteria, which is in the email address column. For this, we're going to use the filter function. So equals filter, open bracket. We want to filter on the entire data set, but just return the items where the email column is equal to our search box. Now we don't want to return all of the columns, so I'm going to use the choose columns function. And I want to return columns one, five, and six. Close that array, close that bracket, and then I press return. There we go, Joe Hawkins is the value returned. And as you can see, he has a quantity of one for the item Rembrandt. That matches with this item that's been returned by the filter function. But what happens if we don't want to search on an entire email address? What if we just want to search on the word Joe? Well, in that scenario, nothing is returned because there isn't anything in the email address column that matches with Joe. So here we want to change our include argument that's part of our filter function. So I'll delete that and we're going to start by using the search function. So search what text we want to find. Well, I want to find the word Joe and I want to find that from our email column. I'll close my search function there. Now search returns an error if it can't find the item or a number if it can find the item. So we want to do a logical test to say is number. This will then return true for any item that is found or false for any item that is not. So if we press return on that, you can see that Joe has now been returned. And we can search now on other letters. So if I search for M-U-R, for example, it returns Emily Murray and Elena Murphy. So we're now able to search on partial text strings. Not only that, but search allows us to use wildcard characters. So for example, if I were to type E, question mark, question mark, A, so the question mark represents any single character, and press return, it'll match anybody whose email address has an E, then two characters, and then an A. So for Joe Hawkins, you can see there's the E of Joe, the period, and then the H. They are the two wild card characters. For Chloe Davis, it is the period and the D. And we can see these patterns throughout the rest of these email addresses. We can also use it with a multi-character wildcard. So A, N, star, A. There you go. That's now matched any email address that has A, N, and then some characters in between, and then an A. So hopefully you'll agree this is a really useful technique that allows us to match by partial text strings. That's all for this video. If you would like to take your Excel skills to the next level and save huge amounts of time with Excel, then why not check out our training program over at excelofthegrid.com forward slash academy. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.